Hey, how you doing everybody? This is me, Alex from North Carolina, from Chalon, North Carolina. I'm doing today update on my passion fruit. Right now, it's December 15, 14, one of those two dates, okay? And my passion fruit, like I always tell people, I brought passion fruit from Puerto Rico. And, you know, believe it or not, my passion fruit is doing great. I mean, it seems like I adjust the temperature. I don't know what happened to it. But look at this, it's doing really, really good. Uh, I've been having for a couple of years, and every year they give, you know, it, it receives more and more. Look at this, it's doing really good. I just want you to see, guys, right here, look at this. This come from my greenhouse, okay, see so right here? That come from the greenhouse. What I do, I got the greenhouse in here, and I, every summer I do a hole. That way, the passion fruit come out of there, and it go all the way up there. The three up there, see that right there? And I've been having this for years, okay? Like I said, again, I don't know something happened to this passion fruit. They got just to the temperature right here in North Carolina. Uh, it already freeze a couple times and the passion fruit is still living. I mean, this is amazing. Somebody told me this thing will never grow right here in North Carolina. But what I did, I just a little by little. I keep it inside the greenhouse for years, but every year I just let it get out little by little. And it looks very healthy. Look at this. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. And look at all the passion fruit down there on top. I mean, you guys can see it. Ah, let me try to find the passion fruit right here. Look at this. Look at that. This passion fruit with turn purple, okay? Also, I want you guys to see. Look at it. I want you guys to see. This passion fruit has been to hell, okay? I got it a couple of years ago, and uh, it's a little tiny plant, okay? But one time they got a disease, and all of it didn't die. See that right here? Die. But look at this, the main root right there. That's the main root for my passion fruit. What I do, I keep some chickens in here. Look at that. I keep chickens in here. I keep two chickens. That way they can keep moving uh, the dirt around. And also, I got one thing that many people are surprised about, okay? I got some uh, bananas. You know, believe it or not, I got bananas right here on this, okay? It start blooming around October, and I did not want my banana to die. And what I did, I went and go ahead and built a little thing in there to keep it warm. And also, one thing I did, I got the heat lamp. The heat lamp, you, you sit down there when you go to the... But this is food to keep it warm. I use one of those and I keep it inside there. That way I stay, uh, I stay nice and warm. The longer the temperature don't drop below 40, they will be okay. All right guys, if you have any question, oh, I like it. By the way, we got a plant for sale. I got different plants for sale, okay? Oh, and see this right here? This right here is an almond tree. I bought this one from California and it's doing great. You have enough freeze. And look at this right here on my passion. You're doing great. And this right here, this is an orange. I plant the seed, and look at that. Come on, it come all the way there, okay? Look at that right there, guys. All right, guys, thank you for watching my videos. If you guys have any questions, please send me mail to uh, uh, to here, and also tiendatropicana at gmail.com. And like I said, guys, I'm doing this for a long time because I really like to grow tropical plants right here, okay? I traveled to Puerto Rico one time and to Power Mexico, and I love everything was so beautiful there, okay? It's the green. My dream is to go back one day to Puerto Rico, to Mexico, to go back and do live there. But right here too, next time guys, I'm gonna do the, I'm gonna do a video on my papayas. I got beautiful papayas right now, and also I got star soup, a guanabana. I got that right now, it's blooming right now, and also my guayaba. Look, also I got this guayaba here. It already freeze a couple times. But look at that, it still live the guava. This guava is, is a Mexican guava. The Mexican guava is more tolerant to a cold, okay? If you got one of those, it will stay there. One thing I noticed that the other day too, I plant one of a cattle seed a couple years, a couple of years, uh, two years ago, okay? And when I plant those, I, yeah, I just plant it here. And look at this, the cold have not killed it yet. It's been here for a whole time, every year they come back, like this guava too. Every year they come back and uh, they never die. And it's amazing. Look at it. I want you to see my ducks. Look at my chicken.
This is my chickens, what I do. I keep the chickens here because I'm more relaxed and also I get a bunch of eggs and everything's organic. I keep, you know, I keep it simple. That way I make sure I got very good food, you know. They always told me whatever you put in your mouth is who you are. And I keep also pheasants. I got very beautiful pheasants too. I will do a video later. All right, guys, if you like the video, please press like, share it, and uh, comment on the bottom, okay? Have a good day.